Hundreds of thousands of golfers head to Bandon Dunes each year to find a Scottish feel on the Oregon coast. But the Scotsman who designed the first course there actually lives right here in Bend. Earlier this week, I spent the day with David McClay Kidd. I learned a lot from what could be his next big project here in Oregon to how he travels for work. Thank you for flying DMK Airlines. I hope you had a nice flight this afternoon. Uh, we look forward to welcoming you to Bend. This is how most of David McClay Kidd's projects begin. Ground speed is almost 200 miles an hour. And end flying his own Cirrus SR-22 across the western U.S. to design golf courses. I groused around saying how challenging it was to get anywhere out of Bend if you wanted to just hop, you know, a few hundred miles. So one of my friends said, go learn how to be a pilot. After one flying lesson, he was hooked. Now it's the backbone of his business. And I can do more in a week with this than I could in a month without it. Flying out of Bend, Bend and Dunes on the southern Oregon coast, his first major design is just a 45 minute flight away. When he was given the project at just 26 in the mid 90s, he had no idea it would become the mecca it did. Literally hundreds of thousands, maybe even into the millions of people have visited the South Oregon coast and they all come away with the same feeling, how beautiful it is. At Bandon, he says he sought to capture the natural beauty of the property instead of manufacturing it. The beauty was put on a national stage last year when Bandon hosted the US Amateur and it's on display at his central organ design, Tethero. One thing you tried to do here was create sort of the, a high desert interpretation of the Scottish Lynx, right? Uh, as close as you could get to a Scottish Lynx experience, I think this is it. But there's a major difference between Ben and Bandon or Scotland. What drew me to Central Oregon was the lack of rain. He first came to the region in 2001 and fell there. in love. I always had it in my head, if I could figure out a way to actually live here. Uh, and then in 2006, I was asked to come and design Tethero and I used that as an excuse to come and live here. And I've been here ever since. At his office in the middle of Northwest Crossing, the walls are covered in plans. So this is a, a, a topographical heat map. Photos. We're surrounded with pictures of golf courses we finished. It's memorabilia and maybe the most realistic CGI Everything. renderings you've ever seen. None of it is, it's not a, not a drone flight. And with Band and Dunes announcing plans for a sixth and maybe final course, there's more coming. I'm the, uh, the golf course designer for that course. There's a long way to go before the course becomes a reality, but. It would make for a perfect story. You know, I was the one that built the very first golf course at Bandon, and maybe I get to be the one that builds the very last golf course at Bandon. McClay Kid tells me the sixth and final golf course potentially at Bandon, for now known as New River Dunes, is still years away. But he's seen the property, and while the design is not finished, he's excited for the opportunity.